Good morning students. Today we are going to learn 10th standard supplementary reader topic The Tempest. This is the part 2 video of The Tempest. Prospero was the Duke of Milan and had a brother named Antonio. Prospero was a deeply loved Duke but unfortunately he namely put his trust in his brother Antonio. Prospero allowed Antonio to manage the kingdom for many years. But Antonio wanted more and sought to kill Prospero to steal his kingdom and wealth. Antonio decided to not kill Prospero but to exile him. He did this with help of Alonso, who was the king of Naples. Antonio took Prospero out to sea and then left him on a deserted island along with his daughter Miranda. However, there was a hope of Prospero on the larger vessel that Prospero and Miranda were forced off. Prospero had a loyally named Gonzalo while he could nothing to save the duke. He could help him out with that he secretly placed in the boat some fresh water, food, cloths and books. The island that they were cast off to was a magical island. They had imprisoned all the good spirits inside the trucks of trees on the island. One of those spirits was Ariel. This was an interesting opportunity for Prospero. Since he was a great magician, it turns out that when Antonio was managing the kingdom, Prospero was devoted to the study of magic. He set out on the guest of free, freeing the spirits and was successful. He kept the spirits obedient to his will but treated them relatively fairly. The one spirit he treated badly was named Caliban. He was the son of the weak old witch. Caliban was also a vicarious, horrible monster. This story said by Prospero to the Miranda. Oh my father, said Miranda, what a trouble must I have been, I have been to you then? No, my love, said Prospero. You were a little angel that did preserve me. Your innocent smells made me bear up against my misfortunes. Our food lasted till we landed on this desert island. Since when my chief delight has been in teaching you, Miranda, and well have you profited by my instructions. Heaven, thank you, my dear father, said Miranda. Now tell me, sir, your reason for raising this stone? No, then, said her father, that by means of his tomb, my enemies, the king of Naples and cruel brother, are cast ashore upon this island. Having so sad, Prospero gently touched his daughter with his magic wand and she fell fast asleep. For the spirit Ariel just then presented himself before his master to give an account of the tempest and how he had disposed of the ship's company and though the spirits were always invisible to Miranda. Prospero did not choose she should hear him 
holding conversation as would seem to her with the empty air okay students i hope you all understood the story i will continue the, i will continue the remaining story to the next video thank you